Hi, back to Better Healthers, and welcome to our first episode of Meat Free Friday Recipes. Now, I should mention that in our Meat Free Friday recipes, we do not exclude seafood. So sometimes fish or other seafood will be present, as is the case today. Now, the inspiration for this was partially because Lent is starting, and though I know many of you don't practice that, it's a holiday I follow, but also minimizing meat in the diet has been proven to be healthy and good for many people. So religious holiday or not, this is good for everybody. So growing up, I was from Western New York and fish fry was and still is a big Friday night meal. Now, my grandfather owned a restaurant growing up, and he was well known for his fish fry. People would come from miles around, and I have fond memories of watching and helping him in the kitchen and then sitting with the family and having fish fry once all the customers were gone. So fish fry is near and dear to my heart, but it is certainly not part of a healthier eating plan. So... We're going to try to healthify it. So on tonight's menu, we are going to do baked fish with wine braised vegetables and sweet potato fries. So let's start with the fish, and I'm going to give a quick plug to a local establishment here. I now live in Chicago, and in my neighborhood, there is a store called The Fish Guy. The people are wonderful, the service is great, the fish is fresh, and they supply fish to a number of the major restaurants in the Chicago region. But even more importantly, they give back to the community in a couple of days a week. They have sales. So we went on Wednesday, which is family day, and we got wonderful fresh fish for an affordable price. And that's what I used here today. You can see I have two large pieces of a mild white fish. It was probably roughly a pound. Now, in your typical fish fry, it gets soaked in milk or egg and then dredged in a flour batter and fried. So what we did here instead, and you can see from this picture the beginning, the middle, and then the cooked versions, what we did is we used non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and we generously covered just one side of the piece of fish. And then we mixed together a batter with some seasonings and lightly sprinkled it on top. Now for our batter we did a half a cup of grape nuts, a half a cup of Uncle Sam's uh, whole wheat berry flakes, a tablespoon of flaxseed and a tablespoon of coconut flour. Now those of you that are gluten free you would have to omit the grape nuts and Uncle Sam's but you certainly could substitute with any corn or rice based crunchy cereal and I'm sure you'd get a similar result. Now the beauty of part of this batter is the cereals we added are very high in fiber. They also give a boost of protein and the flax seeds are rich in the omega-3s, which are great for any of our diets. And for those of you that don't know, coconut flour is also very high in fiber, so nice to add into the diet, and it gives it just a little sweet taste. Now, we also mix some spices in it, and I'm not a big measurer, so I did a good four plus shakes of garlic powder and onion powder, a good three or four shakes of paprika and parsley, and then just a pinch of pure sea salt. Now the salt is optional for those of you with medical conditions or who are just trying to avoid it. And what I did here is I threw all of these ingredients in my Black & Decker Handy Chopper, pulsed quickly, and ended up with a nice flaky, breadcrumby kind of consistency. For those of you new to Back to Better Health, you can look at prior clip and see a demonstration of the Black & Decker chopper for any who may be interested. I got a ceramic baking pan and I did drizzle just a little olive oil on the bottom. Now again, for those of you who need to omit the oil or are trying to cut out fats, you could simply put some wine or broth in the bottom to help it not stick. 
lay your fish in the pan. My dish had a ceramic cover. I covered it and put it in the oven at 400 degrees for roughly 25 minutes until I tested it with the fork and the fish flakes. It was that easy. So next, on to our wine braised vegetables. I chopped up one onion and two carrots, and I lightly sauteed those in a half a teaspoon of olive and coconut oil. Now, again, you could omit the oil and just simply use the wine to cook your onion and carrot in that you'll use later on in this recipe. Once the carrot and onion cooked lightly, I cut up a half a head of cauliflower and broccoli and added that to the pot in addition to a half a cup of white wine. And I sprinkled over the top some organic salt-free seasoning that I get from Costco. But any salt-free seasoning of your choice would do, or any seasoning for that matter. Then I simply covered this and let it cook roughly 10-15 minutes tops until the broccoli and cauliflower were fork tender but not overcooked. Lastly, some sweet potato fries, and I took the easy way out on this and went to Trader Joe's and bought the Trader Joe's brand of frozen sweet potato fries. Now, these are very easy to make at home as well, but in an effort to save time since I was making everything else, I chose to go this route. I like to get these from Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's personal philosophy and commitment is that if it's the Trader Joe's brand, it will not contain GMO ingredients. So it's just one less thing I have to worry about. But these were easy. Simply follow the package instructions and you're good to go. What I did is I put these in per package instructions for a good 15 minutes or so, then lowered the temperature when my fish went in and let them cook the rest of the time with the fish. All right. Now, depending on how quick you are at prepping, I would say this roughly takes 45 minutes to an hour, start to finish for all three of these things, and then dinner's ready and you have a meal to serve your family. Now, as you can see, when you look at our healthy plate, more than half of our plate is covered with vegetables. Just a quarter is the fish, and then our breading makes up some of those whole grains, fiber, and seeds. So we're certainly creating a healthy plate and one that we hope everyone enjoys. We look forward to you trying this and certainly share your comments below. If you have any other suggestions of meat-free Friday meals, also give us a shout and we'll see what we can do. Otherwise, stay tuned in upcoming weeks for more family-friendly and health-friendly meat-free Fridays. Until next time, bye-bye.